now on Coast TV News. Well, more sweltering heat and humidity over Del Marva. I'll let you know how high the mercury will rise, when we'll see some relief, and plus we talk severe storm chances into this evening. I'll have the latest here in a few minutes. Summer sizzle continues as we get ready for another day in this heat. We look at how businesses like produce stands continue to function in hot conditions. I saw uh, a fire across the street and it looked like a big bonfire. That was one witness and what they saw as we break down a tragic crash involving two Cape Henlopen students. New VP Picks Night. We look ahead to day three of the Republican National Convention as Vice Presidential nominee J.D. Vance takes center stage. This is Coast TV News Today. And welcome to our six o'clock hour. Good morning. I'm Matt Pensick. Good morning, everybody. I'm Paige Marley. It's Wednesday, July 17th, 2024. Yeah, yeah a bit of a cool down's coming, yeah. but we have to get through this hot day to get to that. Yes. Is it cooler than yesterday? Not that it's not cool. I know you mentioned that earlier. You were like, oh, it's in the 70s, yeah. which Still you would hot. think hot, but I think that is a little bit dialed down from yeah. where we were probably about 24 hours ago. Yeah, at least according to my car thermometer. Yeah, it was like a uh, high 70s yesterday. I think it was low 80s uh, this early in the morning. But we are going to bring in First Alert meteorologist Chris Mastrobono now. And Chris, we're just looking at, we're just a lot of heat. It doesn't matter how different it is, does it? Yeah, right. <laughs> right. Just trying to find some positives wherever we can uh, here because this has been a brutal stretch of humidity. And uh, we are seeing those excessive heat warnings continue through 8 this evening. We have the heat advisory for the coast that also is still until 8 and also to the south in our uh, Maryland counties through 8 this evening. But we have one more day to endure these high humidity levels feeling more like 104 to 112 throughout the afternoon. We are tracking a severe threat through this evening. Those storms could pack winds up to 70 miles an hour as well as some hail. And then we get a break from this oppressive humidity by your Friday. So waking up right now seeing 74 Georgetown, 74 Rehoboth and 67 in Ocean City, seeing those southwesterly winds. And we had some uh, rain overnight that has since cleared. See the cloud cover pushing off the coast, tracking this front out here in the Ohio Valley. That's going to continue to push uh, toward the east. Hazy look here from our Tyndall's Furniture Cam and in Laurel, 74 degrees. And you see over the next few hours, we rise to 81 by around 8. And we're already near that 90 degree mark by around 9, setting the stage for yet the mid 90s this afternoon. We stay dry through the early evening. 9 o'clock, we see those storms begin moving over the area. By 11, some heavy downpours over Milton. And then they make their way towards the coast, Lewis, Rehoboth, by around midnight. And then they push off the coast by around 2 a.m. And then we'll begin to dry out. But there's those triple digit heat indices. Even at the coast, we're going to feel like 100 in Dewey Beach. And then we'll see that uh, air, that front move through by the evening hours. Now the slight risk, we have that slight risk by the Storm Prediction Center where we could see a slight risk for a severe storm later on this evening. We'll break down the updated timing of those storms as well as when that relief is going to arrive in that full forecast in a few minutes. Chris, it has been our story all week. The conditions that have us in a heat wave and as Chris mentioned, conditions that have led to some alerts this week. Businesses like Bluebird Farms, they've had to endure the dangerous heat to stay open, even with fans running 24 seven. There's still things to be done outside to keep Bluebird Farms in tip top shape and one of the biggest priorities watering the plants. The plants are um, always watered every day in the morning. And now with this extreme heat, we will uh, water some of them twice a day. Extreme heat causing challenges for one of Delmarva's biggest industries, agriculture. The owner there hopes to see more rain soon. There are four cooling stations in Sussex County as the temperatures continue to rise into triple digits over the next few days. Sussex County saying paramedics will make routine stops into those stations and they'll answer heat questions and hand out free water bottles. You can visit the County Administration Building, the Greenwood Library, the Milton Library, and the South Coastal Library. For more detailed information, you can also visit our website. Cooling centers in Salisbury will be open as well due to the extreme temperatures and heat. The Flounders Room at the Wicomico County Civic Center, that'll be open today from 3 to 6 p.m. in the arena lobby. The Wicomico County Health Department said this comes as temperatures with the heat index expected to be over 105 degrees there. Mac Incorporated Senior Center will also be open today from 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. That's for people ages 55 and over. Well, all this heat talk brings us to our Coast TV poll. We're asking, what do you feel 
about the heat wave. And there's a lot of options for you there. Yeah, I know some numbers, new votes came in. Numbers so. look relatively the same. Mm-hmm. And the, the winner so far is it's summer, get over it. Yeah, it's hot. It's July. That's what happens in July. But <laughs> we also have some distribution of it's too hot. And there's also concern about the climate. All good choices there. And okay. if you haven't voted yet, you can still do so at coasttvnews.com or the mobile app. I'm voting it's too hot. Sorry. All right. Well, as we continue to feel the impact of the heat, it is coming from severe weather in the Midwest as well. On your screen, what you're looking at right now is severe weather that ripped through parts of Iowa, left some down power lines, toppled trees, it damaged homes. Storms also triggering several tornado warnings throughout eastern parts of that state. Well, this morning, families and friends of two teenage boys from the Cape Henlopen School District they are grieving after losing their lives in a terrible car crash. Take a look at this map. This is the area near the 16,000 block of Gills Neck Road in Lewis. That's where it happened. That crash was late Monday night. It was about 11.26 p.m. The accident happened on a portion of Gills Neck Road where there's a sharp curve. And according to police, a car driving fast was not able to negotiate that turn. It launched off the road, eventually crashing into a house, then a tree and a metal fence, all before it caught on fire. Helen Lawson is a neighbor who lives right next door to where the accident happened, and she says she was shocked by what she saw when she looked out her window that night. I saw uh, a fire across the street, and it looked like a big bonfire. Uh, And then I went out in the backyard, and the fire just increased, and it was going up beyond the trees. Now, based on some Facebook posts from both the Cape Henlopen lacrosse and the football teams, it does appear the two boys were athletes, and according to the school district, counselors will be available to students who might need some help while they continue to cope with this shocking and devastating loss. Those counselors will be available from 8 to 3 for the rest of this week. Happening today, several proposed housing developments getting a review in Sussex County. The Georgetown Planning Commission, they will go over plans for a 238-lot subdivision it would be called Short Leaf Preserve. It would feature single family homes along with townhouses on the east side of Parker Road and south of East Trap Road. Also, a proposed development in Lewis will be the attention of Sussex County Planning and Zoning at today's meeting. This project is called North Star. It's planned between Route 9 and both sides of Beaver Dam Road. It's right across where the Vineyards Apartment Complex is. You know that area, it's right there on your screen. According to the proposal, the project calls for over 750 single-family homes and 96,000 square feet of commercial space. We're going to stay in Lewis for this next story. The planning commission there could approve and send to the mayor and city council the plans from the Overfalls Foundation to build a new structure in that area. The foundation is looking to extend the Overfalls Museum, and according to the city's agenda, this would be near the playground. Fenwick Island town officials, they'll be getting together today at 10 to discuss improving safety on Route 1. Some of these areas include sidewalks, crosswalks, road signs, and traffic calming measures. We're now taking a live look at the Republican National Convention site in Milwaukee. Today will begin day three. And new Vice President Pick J.D. Vance expected to take the stage later tonight. Yeah, Republicans, they're working to unify their party and their country around former President Trump. Some of his previous rivals even delivering speeches at the Republican National Convention, urging Americans to vote for Trump this November. NBC's Bree Jackson shows us the big issues Republican officials and voters are focused on. With former President Trump looking on, his former primary rivals made the case for him to serve a second term. Trump's former U.N. Ambassador Nikki Haley sending this message to undecided voters. You don't have to agree with Trump 100% of the time to vote for him. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis touting Trump's ability to lead the party while blasting President Biden. We need a commander-in-chief who can lead 24 hours a day and seven days a week. America cannot afford four more years of a weekend at Bernie's presidency. We asked people here at the Republican National Convention about issues driving them to the polls this election. Santos Lopez tells me policies that support legal pathways to immigration motivate him. Um, Like myself, if you want more migrant workers, make it easier for them to understand how to cross over. You just want to keep the bad guys out. The economy is another issue that's top of mind. Despite record low unemployment under President Biden, some say they believe former President Trump would do a better job. I can see his policies changing my life because it's not going to cost me so much at the grocery store. 
Unity has been a major focus at the convention. People tell me the assassination attempt against Trump was a wake-up call that things must change. The rhetoric and, and the incident that happened to uh, President Trump, that, that's just not what America is about. Former President Trump is expected to send a similar message when he takes the stage Thursday. In Milwaukee, Bree Jackson, NBC News. And we're just getting started in this hour of Coast TV News Today. Still ahead this morning, Dewey discussing flooding. We have an update on the solution to issues during heavy rains in one common area. Also, heat wave hits harvest market. We'll tell you how some growers at the Rehoboth Beach Farmers Market say the heat has impacted the taste of their produce. And Musk and Moving Headquarters, the new law in California that the billionaire touts as the reason SpaceX and X headquarters are now heading to Texas. All that and more as Coast TV News Today continues. Big fun is on at the Delaware State Fair. Carnival games, thrilling rides, food, music, and more. Buy unlimited ride wristbands before July 18th and save $15. July 18th through 27th. Tickets at DelawareStateFair.com. Got a plumbing problem that can't wait? then why would you? At FH Fur, we know how frustrating it is to be stuck waiting for help, which is why we offer same-day service guaranteed. Whether it's a leaky faucet, a clogged drain, a broken pipe, you name it, the expert plumbers at FH Fur are standing by and ready to get you out of hot water, or maybe into some hot water, if that's your issue. Same-day service guaranteed, regardless of your plumbing predicament. 877-CALL-FUR, FHFUR.com. When choosing windows and doors for your home, at Pella, it's your choice. We manufacture maintenance-free vinyl, fiberglass, and wood-clad windows and patio doors, all with lifetime warranties. High performance, energy efficient, and loaded with options to help make your house your home. Industry-first features and benefits make living easier and increase your home's value. Visit our Experience Center or call us today to schedule your free in-home consultation, where we bring the showroom to you. It's always a beautiful day for learning at Shells. With our summer program that keeps your child physically and mentally active when they're out of school. Through captivating activities and insightful guest speakers, they will expand their knowledge in a fun and interactive way, including educational, hands-on field trips that'll keep your child entertained. Make every summer day memorable with Shells Early Learning Center. Register now and secure your spot in Shells summer program before the spots are gone. Shells, preparing our future generation. Big fun country is on. The Delaware Lottery Summer Concert Series at the M&T Bank Grandstand. John Party, Jordan Davis, Cooper Allen, Brantley Gilbert, and more. July 18th through 27th. Tickets at DelawareStateFair.com. Well, a pleasant good Wednesday morning. Not too bad temperature-wise. It's just this humidity. It's just so stifling. And uh, we're going to see those temperatures once again get into the mid-90s this afternoon. Cool spot, 69 there in Ocean City. 71, Bethany Beach, 75, and Lewis, 75 in Seaford. We are seeing winds out of the southwest. Could see some uh, breezy conditions develop. Uh, see some winds there along the coast, anywhere from 15 to 20 miles an hour. Well, if you're heading to the golf course this afternoon, you're going to want to pack the sunscreen. It is going to be blazing out there. You see temperatures around 94. May want to give the golf a break today with those feel-like temperatures, anywhere from 105 to 112. Friday certainly looks like a better day to golf. We'll talk, though, more about the severe threat tonight while we'll the latest timing of those storms here in just a few minutes. Three teens arrested in Milford after police say they got three separate calls with victims reporting they had been shot with hard pellets through a passing silver sedan. The teens were all charged with conspiracy in the third degree, reckless endangering in the second degree, and disorderly conduct. The officials say they were all released to their families with a future date in the Kent County Family Court. A heads up for drivers in Del Mar, Hunter's Cove Road is closing. This is between Oak Road and Owens Road. That's the area that we are showing you here on your screen. If you take a look, Del Dot says the closure is from Monday, July 22nd through Wednesday, the 31st, and it is due to the installation of a crossroad pipe. Head of X and SpaceX, Elon Musk, announced he has plans to move both headquarters from California to Texas. Musk saying he made the decision after California Governor Gavin Newsom signed legislation that prevents school employees from notifying parents if students request to use different pronouns. 
Musk saying that law and others enacted before it attack, his wor in his words, both families and companies. The price of gold has hit an all-time high. Gold jumped to a record above $2,400 an ounce this week. This news comes with the hope the Federal Reserve will soon cut rates and boost demands. A weakened dollar, that's also supported the demand for bulk gold and silver. It was on Tuesday the U.S. dollar rebounded after falling to a five-week low. Still ahead this morning, heat hitting the harvest market. Why some vendors at the Rehoboth Beach Farmers Market say the heat may have an upside. Well, we're seeing currently 68 in Ocean City. A little fog there along the boardwalk. Folks said uh, giving a little early morning jog or walk before the heat comes rolling back in this afternoon. We talked triple digit heat indices and also a storm threat. We'll talk that severe threat, the latest timing of those storms. Full 70 forecast is coming up next. NBC News Daily, weekdays at 1 on Coast TV. It starts with our oldest family tradition, artisan bread topped with the finest hand-sliced meats and cheeses. Add in the freshest locally grown produce, but don't forget the mmm, mmm, mmm. In our house, it's not just a hoagie, it's a primo. Oh, porches. Hello, aren't you the guy I see on TV, the porch protection guy? Yeah, so I would say. So they're made of marine grade materials that last for years? Yeah, I would And go. they say I could use my porch all year round? I think and so. And they keep the dirt pollen and rain and wind out? It'll and the custom made right here locally? They are. I got to run, but it was really nice talking to you. Well, it was nice talking to you, too. Call or visit porchprotection.com for your free quote. Have you seen those crazy HVAC deals? <laughs> Don't fall for that. At Above and Beyond Service Heating and Cooling, we just don't make promises, we deliver results. With our peace of mind maintenance agreement, you can rest assured we will keep up with your system throughout the year. We're a local company. You're not just a customer, you're our neighbor. Take advantage of our 0% finance for up to 72 months or up to $3,000 in rebates on a new train system. Call Above and Beyond Services to keep your family comfortable. Remember, it's hard to stop a train. It starts with our oldest family tradition, artisan bread topped with the finest hand-sliced meats and cheeses. Add in the freshest locally grown produce, but don't forget the mmm, mmm, mmm. In our house, it's not just a hoagie, it's a primo. Stanley Steamer gets your home cleaner. Stanley Steamer is proud to be the leader in deep cleaning, cleaning over 1 million homes and businesses across America every year using powerful equipment custom built by us. We'll remove the buildup of dirt, dust, allergens, grime and contaminants seen and unseen from your home and business. America's professional deep cleaner for over 75 years. It's not clean until it's Stanley Steamer clean. Stanley Steamer gets your home Time is 617 and you are now looking live at Lewis. Got a great looking sunrise there out in the distance. Look at that. This is near the Roosevelt Inlet. This on we got the sunrise there, but Chris, it's a great tie Wednesday. Yes, that's what Chris and I have going on today. <laughs> well, we uh, certainly aren't going to be gray weather rise as far as the uh, cloud cover is concerned. We're in for uh, uh, more heat and humidity this afternoon. You can see temperatures right now 70 in Bethany Beach, 75 in Rehoboth, 75 Millsboro, and 74 in Salisbury. We'll see some winds pick up this afternoon anywhere from 10 to 20 miles an hour. That southwest wind, boy, has been uh, really hurting us with the humidity. There's some fog, though. Uh, across the Ocean City, the lone spot there along the coast, uh, most of us uh, dealing with dry conditions across uh, Delmarva. Well, the, there's that excessive heat warning continuing through 8. Uh, we have the heat advisory along the coast as we expect triple digit heat indices there as well and as well to the south uh, till about 8. So one more day before this uh, cold front that's slowly making its way towards the east. See that complex of storms in southern Indiana, but we are clearing out here from some rain overnight and uh, we are uh, going to heat up very quickly over the next few hours. As you see here, 80 by around 8. We're over just about 90 by around noon, making our way into the mid 90s. So uh, we're not going to see upper 90s like yesterday, but the humidity level is certainly going to be very high. 
10 o'clock, we see those storms rolling in. Look at this heavy rain extending from Millsboro through Rehoboth by around 1130. And then it slowly makes its way towards the coast by around midnight and then exits the coast by around 2 a.m. Drenching downpours could see gusty winds as high as 70 miles an hour. And then as we head into Thursday, the front it's going to kind of park itself off the coast, so we could see some more scattered shower and thunderstorms through tomorrow afternoon as well. Nothing severe, but not going to be a complete washout or for your Thursdays, but uh, we're going to continue to keep that storm threat in place. 106 to 110 as far as heat indices go this afternoon by around 2. So, yeah, just brutal. 106 by around uh, 6, and then we'll finally see those uh, heat indices drop. So the Storm Prediction Center has that 2 out of 5 slight risk, a scattered severe storm possible. The primary threat is going to be the damaging winds and heavy rain. There's so much moisture in the atmosphere that these storms are just going to dump a lot of rain where they form. We keep it unsettled into your Thursday along uh, Assateague, South Bethany unsettled there as well. The pick of the week, though, definitely by Friday. We'll see lower humidity levels move into Delmarva. Cape Henle open 82 by Friday after those storm chances for Thursday. So 94, feeling more like 105 to 110 today. Could see a gust of 20, 74. Severe storms early, mild and muggy. We're still a bit on the muggy side for your Thursday. 84, but you see the front comes through and we get some relief into Friday. Lower humidity, refreshing air, and uh, that Paul Davis seven day 85, definitely the pick of the week Friday after we get past the heat and the storms. And the weekend right now, all in all, not looking too bad with temperatures right around average with a mix of sun and clouds. Thank you, Chris. And while it may be uncomfortable outside and precautions need to be taken, there's still plenty of fun to be had here along the coast. <laughs> Filling bags with fresh produce and other goodies, the heat hasn't kept people from going to the Rehoboth Beach Farmers Market. And the farmers and growers of Delmarva, they've been working hard at their craft, even with the sun beating down. There was live music that lightens the mood as well. And we talked to some of the vendors there to uncover how the heat wave is affecting them. Peaches love the heat. Sometimes that can change our varieties that we're looking at over time, over a long period of time. But um, this year in particular, it's been nice. The heat has had them bring out all of their flavor, all of their sugar. The bees don't like to fly when it's 90 degrees. You know, they, they like to, they stay in there to take care of their queen. They're, they're keeping her cool. They won't produce as much honey because they're not out flying and uh, pollinating. And on the other hand, Brady says that despite the heat, crops have been fruitful. And in this extreme heat and the high temp, CDC is recommending you drink more water than usual regardless of your activity. CDC says you should not wait until you're thirsty to drink and aim for water instead of caffeinated or carbonated drinks. If you're feeling dehydrated, you may want to have a sports drink or even a fruit juice to replace the salt and the minerals you may have lost from heavy sweating. More to come this morning, Dewey discusses flooding, the options available to the town to deal with issues like you see on your screen. Stay with us on Coast TV News today. The UV Index Weather Report is sponsored by Ocean City Tourism. Somewhere to smile about. The big Delaware Marine Trades Association Boat Show, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at Hudson Fields in Milton. Multiple dealerships, bargain prices, runabouts, fishing boats, pontoons, and more on Route 1 in Milton, Delaware. For every season, every weather moment, stay ahead with the Coast TV First Alert Weather Phone. Just call 443-880-9100. Your forecast, just a call away. Sponsored by the law offices of Baird, Mandalas, Brockstead, and Federico. Your wallet is always in danger. Criminals can hack your information without you even knowing. Introducing SlimMint, an ultra-thin RFID-blocking wallet that keeps your cards and cash protected. SlimMint uses the latest RFID-blocking technology to prevent thieves from stealing your info. It's ergonomically designed to optimize space and keep your belongings organized. With the auto-locking SlimMint, your cards and money stay securely in place. It has a built-in cash clip and a flexible outer band to fit your additional cards at cash. Call or click now and get Slim Mint for just $29.99. Order in the next five minutes and you'll get an instant $10 discount. So it's only $19.99. But wait, due to rising costs, this may be your last chance to get Slim Mint at this low price. There's a strict limit of three Slim Mint wallets while supplies last. Don't wait. Order now. Call 1-800-613-4296. Call or visit SlimMintWallet.com. So call 1-800-613-4296 now. 
Weather shapes our lives. At Coast TV, first alert weather means we are always at work, ensuring you have the information you need. Weather coverage that prioritizes you. Coast TV first alert weather, your safety, our commitment. The big Delaware Marine Trades Association Boat Show, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at Hudson Fields in Milton. Multiple dealerships, bargain prices, runabouts, fishing boats, pontoons, and more on Route 1 in Milton, Delaware. Fenwick Island is continuing to focus on pedestrian safety. Officials are planning to work on planting flowers and trees along medians to serve as a visual reminder for drivers to slow down as they travel throughout Fenwick Island. It's all part of the town's 2024 comprehensive plan. All right, staying on the coast, Dewey Beach will be looking into a common problem in the area. Of course, we're talking flooding. The town will hear from an engineering group for an update on the installation and the performance of flaps installed on the storm water pipes on Reed Avenue Bayside. The flaps help push water out to the bay and officials will also be talking about concerns with continued flooding in Dewey Beach. All this set for tomorrow, July 18th at 3. And we're joined again by First Alert Meteorologist Chris Mastrobono. He's back with us, and we've got some rain coming in yes. later today, some heavy rain, but we do have the sun, we do have mm -hmm. the heat if you're by the ocean or the bay today. Yes. Yeah, that's uh, certainly going to be the place to be by the water as uh, we're going to see those high uh, humidity levels uh, throughout the afternoon. Some fog to start. Ocean City, we'll see temperatures rise into the 80s by around uh, noon, 85 there. Fenwick Island, 87, a little warmer there. As we make our way up the coast here in Lewis, 78 to start. 90, we'll likely see the storms uh, after about 7, 8 o'clock tonight as we make our way towards uh, the Bay. Cambridge, 83, and quickly rising into the 90s there in Crisfield as well. Feeling, though, more like 104 to 110. Look at that UV index. Yes, it is high. Pack on the sunscreen. Make sure you wear the sunglasses and find some shade, especially between the hottest hours of the day, between about 10 and 3. And there you see uh, we're going to be at that high level here over the next few days, and we'll see some clouds roll in for the weekend. We'll have a look at the latest on the storms here in just a few minutes. Thank you so much. Still ahead on Coast TV News today, Trump timeline turmoil. The new details officials say about how the shooter of President Trump evaded law enforcement. Developments on Delmarva, several projects under review today, including one in this area of Lewis. We'll tell you the amount of homes that are being proposed for that area. And a heat wave hitting the peak. We'll show you how businesses across Delmarva are trying to beat the heat and its impact on work. Coast TV News today will be right back. Experience delicious excitement at Hopkins Farm Creamery with award-winning farm fresh ice cream and a great atmosphere that's fun for the whole family. Play some games while you enjoy your ice cream treat with some great company. Then grab some quarts and pints and bring the magical flavor of Hopkins Farm Creamery home. And if you need something for a special occasion, we also have ice cream cakes and pies. Hopkins Farm Creamery, the sweet destination for the whole family. What do you do when your tire goes flat and there's no air anywhere? You reach for Bullseye Pro, the smarter, faster, hands-free way to fill it up with air. Bullseye Pro is equipped with a rechargeable power plant, smart pressure sensor, and custom nozzles. It's like the power of an air compressor in the palm of your hand. Get your complete Bullseye Pro inflation system for just $79.99 and get free shipping. Plus, we'll give you a 50% discount on a second one. Order now. It's been a little bit of a love relationship between DeFebos and Avery Hall. Avery Hall just offers that next level service, which is what I do for a living. I am in the service business. So to find a company like Avery Hall who offers that personal service where I'm talking to a human being and not an operator is just priceless. I think Avery Hall is reliable and that's very important to me. I have other things to do. Avery Hall allows me to take care of other things. Transform your bath today with Bath by Spicer Brothers. Call now and ask about our Refresh for Less promotion and get a new bath or shower for only $69.95. Plus, get 20% off all upgrades. Imagine stepping into a beautifully renovated bath designed by our experts and installed by our certified professionals. This offer is hotter than a sauna and won't last forever. So don't miss out on our Refresh for Less promotion for just $69.95 with 20% off all upgrades. Before you sign, keep Bath by Spicer Brothers in mind because you deserve the best. Now on Coast TV News. 
tracking another day of dangerous heat and sweltering humidity, plus a threat for severe storms. I'll have the latest timing of those storms and when they can reach your community next. Some like it hot. That is if you have a place to cool off. And we will hear how people are working through some of the hottest conditions of the year. Trump shooting timeline. We now have more information about the sequence of events from Saturday's assassination attempt. Overfalls review. Action that could take place today that would move an expansion project of the Lewis attraction closer to reality. This is Coast TV News Today. July 17th, 2024. Good morning, everybody. I'm Matt Pensick. Good morning, Paige. Good morning. Thank you all for joining us. I'm Paige Marley. Yeah, time is 6.30. We're making our way on this Wednesday morning. Yeah. You mentioned earlier, hot, but maybe not as hot at least at this part of the morning compared yeah. to other days this week? Yeah, that's I, I mean that's what I noticed, but I don't know if I felt the difference. I just saw the difference on like your... You know, the th oh, so yeah. it wasn't a feel. It was like, hey, that's I'm looking at that thermometer there. It's yeah. lower than it was exactly. yesterday morning. You know what I did do yesterday morning? With your windows down, blasting music? No, I oh, should have. <laughs> I should have. No, I finished the news with you. Yes. Then I went out to my car, yes. got ready for Coast Life, and that five-minute window just... Woo! Oh, yeah. I oh, mean, you know, I noticed something. <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> But you know, like, I went to my car, yeah, and just dripping with sweat, and just a just a short amount of time back to work. The makeup was running off. Mm. I mean, it was a mess. Yeah, so maybe uh, it won't be as bad today, Chris. We're com <laughs> we're complainers, Chris. We are we complainers. Are. <laughs> Make it stop. Well, I'm gonna do my best. Uh, we're gonna see uh, high humidity. Unfortunately, will continue into the afternoon. Uh, as we see that excessive heat warning continuing for Sussex County, with the exception of the coast, though. But it is going to be hot along the coast. We have that heat advisory up until 8 and even for our uh, Maryland counties to the south as well. So uh, the heat uh, is going to last for one more day. And then we're going to see uh, some uh, drier air move in over the next few days. Feeling like 112, though, at times this afternoon. We do see that severe storm threat this afternoon. Uh, more towards the evening, damaging winds, 70 miles an hour, some hail. And then, as I mentioned, brief break from the humidity. Friday is looking like a really nice day uh, right now. 69 Bethany Beach, 75 in Milton, 74 Salisbury, and 75 in Seaford. See that south, southwesterly flow funneling in that humid air. It's what we've had over the past few days. Seeing some fog there, o Ocean City towards Bethany Beach. We had some rain overnight, kind of cooled us down a bit. But uh, yeah, we can see the sun there, sunshine and sunshine, clear skies, as uh, we're going to see those temperatures rise pretty quickly. You're going to see some people getting their beach spot there early in Rehoboth Beach, 76 degrees, and that's going to be the spot to be right on the water as we head into the afternoon. Because here you see temperature wise, yeah, we're going to get up into those mid 90s, and then there's the storms by about 9, 10 o'clock, overspreading the region, hitting the coast by around 11, drenching downpours as those storms exit the coast by around two. But unfortunately, we have to get through this first. Heat indices anywhere from 104 to as high as 110, including at the coast. See, it feels like 100 there in Rehoboth Beach by around four or five o'clock. We'll talk more about the severe threat and when we'll see some relief coming up here in just a few minutes. Thank you, Chris. So have you been outside this week? Have you melted in your own personal puddle? Yes. <laughs> Most of you have noticed that it's been one of the hottest weeks on Delmarva this summer. Definitely, but businesses, of course, they have to keep going even if they're outside businesses. Coast TV News reporter Kevin Zappay shows us how all this heat is affecting more than you think. Cars on the road are sure to have their AC pumping, but not everyone has the luxury of that cool air. Kobe Cassio works at Bluebird Farms in the scorching hot heat with temperatures hitting well into the 90s, even in the shade. It's pretty hard to stay uh, stay cool out here because it's so hot. I mean, I, I usually just have a big water bottle I sip on all day. Even with fans running 24-7, there are still things to be done outside to keep Bluebird Farms in tip-top shape, such as raking, mulch, and of course, watering the plants, something owner Nancy Corbett never forgets. The plants are um, always watered every day in the morning. And now with this extreme heat, we will uh, water some of them twice a day. With hundreds of plants to take care of, Bluebird Farms only had two die due to the heat this summer. Corbett told Coast TV that all the rain this weekend greatly improved the plants. The plants were grateful. They look completely different with rainwater 
the day after and it, it was a wonderful help. Extreme heat causing challenges for Delmarva's biggest industry, agriculture. In Berlin, I'm Kevin Zappay, Coast TV News. Happening today, lots of development news on the coast. In Georgetown, there's going to be a preliminary subdivision review for the approval of a 238 lot subdivision. The development would be called Shortleaf Preserve. It would feature single family homes and townhouses on the east side of Parker Road and south of East Trap Road. A proposed development in Lewis will have the attention of Sussex County Planning and Zoning Commission at today's meeting. A project is called North Star. And it is planned between Route 9 and both sides of Beaver Dam Road. It's across from where the Vineyards Apartments Complex is. We're showing you that area right there on your screen. And according to the proposal, the project calls for over 750 single-family homes, 96,000 square feet of commercial space. Also tonight in Lewis, the Planning Commission could approve and send to the Mayor and City Council the plans from the Overfalls Foundation to build a new structure in that area. That's the area you're looking at right now. Foundations looking to extend the Overfalls Museum, and according to the city's agenda, this would be right near that playground. Timeline becoming clearer for the attempt to assassinate former President Donald Trump. We have new information that shows how the gunman evaded security. Law enforcement officials say he came to the rally with a rangefinder, so that's not a weapon, so security let him through because of that. Investigators say the would be assassin then exited the secured area. They're not sure where he went, but they do think he got a rifle from his car. Climbing on an air conditioning unit is likely how he got on a roof outside the perimeter. The Republican National Convention will continue today in Milwaukee. And on your screen, you can see Trump's chosen running mate, J.D. Vance, participating in a walkthrough before his expected speech later tonight. His speech is expected to accept Trump's choice as vice president. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Zero. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. And Tuesday marked the 55th anniversary of this, the historic launch of the Apollo 11 mission. It was on July 16, 1969. Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, Michael Collins launched into space atop an enormous Saturn rocket. Four days later, on July 20th, Armstrong, Aldrin, they both touched down on the moon, becoming the first humans walk on another planetary body. All right, we still have some more news to get to this half hour coming up, so don't go anywhere. Yeah, dog disease on the rise. We'll tell you how to protect your pet from a dog flu as now 30 cases are being treated in Delaware. Also, local dreams live on where one former Stephen Decatur Seahawk is headed to being selected in the MLB draft and some other accomplishments of athletes that got their start right here on Delmarva. And one pilot dead after a plane crash in Easton on Tuesday. Where that investigation stands, Stay with us on Coast TV News today. We salute Charlie Mood Jr. Charlie is the epitome of a hometown hero. For the past 18 years, he has served with distinction in the Delaware National Guard, deploying to both Iraq and Afghanistan. Back home, he has been an integral part of stateside missions. In addition to his military service, Charlie is an active firefighter, dedicating countless hours to protecting and serving his community. Spicer Brothers and Coast TV are honoring military persons and first responders serving Delmarva. If you have a family member, friend, or community member that you would like to nominate for a Coast TV salute, go to CoastTVSalutes.com. With all the choices of services on Delmarva, where do you even begin? Trust experts of various fields with Delmarva Experts. Sponsored by Kitchen Concepts Plus, Chesapeake Eye Center, Apple Discount Drugs, FLC Energy, Spicer Brothers Construction, Mattress Peddlers, Homewell Care Services, Robinson's Jewelry and Coin Shop, Delmarva Acupuncture and Wellness Center, Mast Audiology Services, Riptide Restoration, and Delmarva Day. Delmarva Experts, local experts right when you need them. If you have a mosquito problem in your yard, Call the professionals at Bennett Termite. At Bennett Termite, we use vehicle mounted power rigs versus backpacks. The Bennett Termite difference is to effectively eradicate your mosquito problem with better application and more coverage. How? Bennett Termite technicians use quality equipment and the proper amount of treatment for your entire yard. Trust the company that is there for you. Remember Delmarva, quality isn't expensive, it's priceless. Muscle pain slowing you down? 
Invest in your health and wellness with hot spring spas at Delaware Hot Tub Company in Lewis. Made with top of the line technologies for a remarkable hydrotherapy experience. Clean and easy, five times the filtration and self monitoring that tells you what it needs to maintain natural feeling water. With personalized control and multi-level seating to target muscle groups and provide comfort. At Delaware Hot Tub Company, we believe your hot tub should take care of you, not the other way around. Visit Delaware Hot Tub Company in Lewis today. Aloha and congratulations to Tina Marzek, who won Draper Media's Pick Your Trip Contest, sponsored by Alpha Roofing and Siding. Tina chose a trip to Hawaii. Special thanks to Suicide Bridge Restaurant for hosting our party. Food, swag, we even had a costume contest. Keep listening to your favorite Draper Media radio station for more chances for locals to win. Well, plus a good Wednesday morning. Here's a live shot from Lewis. Sun rising from our tunnel and razor cam. 75 degrees currently, so a mild but, yes, muggy start across Del Marvin. We're going to continue to see the humidity levels on the increase. So if you uh, head out for a run, maybe you want to do it over the next few hours or walk on the dog here because we are going to see those temperatures quickly rise to the 90 degree mark by around 90, setting the stage for this mid to upper 90s across Delaware as we see Cambridge 65 looking out for those PM thunderstorms, some of which could be severe. And as we head to the south here, 90 in Ocean City, 96 in, in uh, Salisbury. And be sure to call 443-880-9100 for your latest forecast. We'll have the latest details on those storms coming up here in just a few minutes. Thank you so much. We now know the name of a man killed in that plane crash in northeastern Maryland on Tuesday. The lone victim was the pilot, 56-year-old Robert Eugene Merlini from Annapolis. The video you're seeing here was provided by our Coast Copter. Maryland State Police say the plane was used to research extreme heat, but it's not clear yet what caused the plane to crash. Coast TV spoke with one of the witnesses of that deadly crash. I thought it was odd for sure. I thought it was odd um, for it to be going and then not going and then a little quiet like nothing and then going trying to go so yeah I definitely thought it was odd. And authorities will now work to pull the plane out of the water. It'll be moved to another location for further testing including by the FAA there in Talbot County. Delmarva Sports Network from the Wawa Studios. Good morning sports fans. Former local stars dreams are coming true from high school to college. And now the pros, this story starting at Stephen Decatur High School. Former Seahawks pitcher Evan Truitt was selected in the 12th round of the MLB draft by the Seattle Mariners. The right-hander was taken out of Charleston Southern University, making him the 13th MLB selection in program history. Finished his final season with first-team all-conference honors and a league-high four-time conference relief pitcher of the week. Coming out. Of Stephen Decatur, he was 10th ranked right-handed pitcher and 34th ranked overall player from the state of Maryland among the 2021 class. It's the second straight year a Seahawk is taken in the draft after Hayden Snellsire was selected a season ago. And Marcus Yarns was named a preseason FCS first team All-American. The former Parkside star had a career year with Delaware a season ago, posting 1250 all-purpose yards. Marcus and Hens opened the season against Bryant on August 29th. And in Summer League, basketball team OTE took down the ones 59 to 56 and former Bayside Player of the Year Antoine Wilson back like he never left. He had a game high 20 points, 14 coming in the first half. Have a great day, everybody. All right, it's that time again. It's Emmy time. This morning, the National Academy for Television Arts and Sciences will unveil its nominations for television's most prestigious awards. The period drama Shogun and the anxiety-inducing comedy The Bear, they're expected to have a big day, along with Netflix's Baby Reindeer. Nominees will be announced at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Time. That's our time. Winners will be unveiled at the televised gala September 15th. Here's what's coming up today at 4 on Coast Life. July is National Ice Cream Month, and we know just the place for you to try some unique flavors. And just over a week away from the 2024 Paris Olympic Games. Do you know what the medals are actually made of? It may surprise you. We have that and more today at 4 on Coast Life. Well, we have one more day of brutal heat and humidity to get through, so keep in mind you want to stay hydrated, stay cool, get in that ocean and Stay in the air as much as you can. We'll have the latest timing on the severe threat, and we'll take a look at that all-important seven-day forecast when Post TV News Today continues. 
Del Marva's Rock Station, 93.5, The Beach. Elevate your business and engage more customers with Draper Media. Our diverse network of media properties such as WBOC, Coast TV, 93.5 The Beach, and 102.5 WBOC reaches over a half a million Delmarva residents across various channels like television, radio, social media, and digital platforms. Enhance your brand's visibility across the Delmarva region with Draper Media. Our passionate team of media specialists and content creators are dedicated to showcasing your brand through engaging commercials, dynamic drone footage, eye-catching graphic and web design, and social media branding. Share your brand story on our popular programs, capturing the attention of your target audience. Trust your brand with Draper Media, a family-oriented company serving the Delmarva community. Contact Frank Hamilton today at fhamilton at wboc.com to get started. It's always a good time to protect and improve your home's value. At Pinnacle Concrete Coatings, our highly trained experts are dedicated to creating beautiful, durable floors at a fair, honest price. And most jobs are completed in just one day. Our multi-step process uses heavy-duty, high-precision equipment to create gorgeous floors that stand the test of time. Four times stronger than epoxy and resistant to abrasions, chemicals, and UV damage. And all residential applications are backed by a lifetime warranty. Call to schedule your free estimate. Pinnacle Concrete Coatings. Because quality matters. 877-CALL-FUR-FHFUR.COM Got a plumbing problem that can't wait? Then why would you? At FH Fur, we know how frustrating it is to be stuck waiting for help, which is why we offer same day service guaranteed. Whether it's a leaky faucet, a clogged drain, a broken pipe, you name it, the expert plumbers at FH Fur are standing by and ready to get you out of hot water. Or maybe into some hot water if that's your issue. Same day service guaranteed, regardless of your plumbing predicament. 877 call fur FHFur.com it's now 6.46. Let's take a live look, see what's going on in Rehoboth Beach. Earlier, some people were already sitting on the beach, Chris, and now some people are going for a walk on the boardwalk. Yeah, yeah. if you're going to head out for a walk, you might want to do it now before the temperatures really crank up as we head later in the morning and through the afternoon. 65, that's a cool spot in Ocean City. Live look from our Hershey's exterior cam. We had some fog here burning off rather quickly and uh, temperature wise across uh, Sussex County, 75 in Seaford, 76 Milford. 74 in Salisbury. So that muggy human air mass is in place, all thanks to southwesterly winds. See some gusts at times anywhere from uh, 15 to 20 miles an hour throughout the afternoon, but uh, it is going to be another hot one. You see that fog there around Ocean City that will burn off here shortly. Excessive heat warning continues for much of Sussex County. We have the heat advisory in effect through eight for the coastal sections, as well as Dorchester, Somerset, Wicomico, and Worcester counties. It's this cold front here off to our west that is going to gradually make its way eastward over the next few hours and that's going to help fuel the thunderstorm threat we're going to see this evening. We are clear, dry, humid and we are going to be hot this afternoon as temperatures quickly rise through the morning. We are near 90 by around 10 and then we're going to hold in the mid 90s this afternoon even for the beach all thanks to that southwesterly wind. It's going to be very hot but there's the storms approaching from west to east by around 10 downpours some heavy rain here by around 11 to around midnight approaching Rehoboth and Lewis could see winds as high as 70 miles an hour a cloud to ground lightning with this as it moves through and then it exits the coast by around 2 a.m. And then we'll still be a bit on the muggy side for Thursday, and then we could even see some more shower and thunderstorm activity later in the afternoon as this front kind of just stalls and then eventually pushes off the coast. And then we see a northerly flow and the return of some comfortable air. But check this out. 2.30 this afternoon, anywhere from 104 to as high as 110, even feeling like the low hundreds at the coast by around 5, 6, and then we finally see the end to those triple digit heat indices. So the Storm Prediction Center has the entire Del Marva in that slight risk. We could see a slight uh, severe storm uh, over uh, the evening hours, and the primary threat would be the damaging winds at 70 miles an hour and very heavy rain. These storms have a lot of moisture to tap into, so we'll stay unsettled into Thursday. As for acity, as we make our way to South Bethany, we stay, uh, uh, you know, rather unsettled into Thursday with a shower and thunderstorm chance, and then we dry out Friday into Saturday. 94 degrees, another scorcher of a day. 
Could see some gusts as high as 20 miles an hour. The severe storm threat early, otherwise were mild and muggy. 84 scattered showers and storms. We get the break from the humidity there into Friday. And then uh, we'll look at your Paul Davis seven day. The weekend right now, not looking too bad. Temperatures in those mid to upper 80s. We stay dry and then we see some shower and storm threats increase at the start of next week. All right, Chris, thanks so much. Now, along with taking care of ourselves, it's important to take care of our pets during this heat. One of the most dangerous things you can do during these high temperatures is leave your pet in a car. It's very dangerous. Don't do that. So according to the American Veterinary Medical Association, heat can rise just 20 degrees in 10 minutes, upwards of 40 degrees in just an hour. The First State Animal Center and the SPCA saying if you notice a dog in a car, get help. Let the business where the car is parked know so they can help find the owner. If you can't find the owner, SPCA says you need to contact the police. The pup in your home, undoubtedly a good dog. But if you want to keep them a healthy dog, may need to keep them away from large crowds of four-legged friends, at least for the next 30 days. Delaware has issued an order prohibiting shelter and rescue dogs from moving in or out of the state for 30 days due to the canine influenza outbreak. Lee McKinney, the director of Humane Animal Partners in Sussex County, shared that while the Rowith Beach Shelter has been fortunate enough not to have an outbreak, the shelter in Wilmington is monitoring 30 confirmed cases. It's a really difficult situation. Um, you know, animals can't talk. And so you're seeing animals that are clearly not feeling well. They're lethargic. Um, they're um, not eating. They just don't have that, their personalities. And McKinley tells Coast TV that symptoms shelters and dog owners should look for are persistent coughing, vomiting, diarrhea, and fever. And for more information on how you can help, visit coasttv.com. All right, time is now 6.51 this morning. We're going to check in with our Coastal Pet of the Day. And today's Coastal Pets of the Day, they're two cousins, best friends, taking a well-needed nap after playing around outside in the heat. Bailey and Riley love to do everything together, and they are never apart. We know all that cool air probably feels good, so these two best buds, they were submitted to us by their family in Seaford. Yeah, they're like they're, they're like in the deep sleep. That's a good nap. Good nap. Yeah, you can tell. You want, we want to keep seeing all your pets on Delmarva. Keep sending us photos just like that one. Tell us what makes your pets so special. Yeah, scan the QR code at the top. That way you can submit your furry friend to Coast TV News and then watch weekdays, 5 to 7 a.m. to see all the pets we feature. That's the thing to do. Stay indoors, that air conditioner with your pets today, because look at this, 94, feeling like 105 to 110. We are watching that threat for severe storms this evening. We'll have a look at that seven-day forecast when Coast TV News Today continues. For every season, every weather moment, stay ahead with the Coast TV First Alert weather phone. Just call 443-880-9100. Your forecast, just a call away. Sponsored by the law offices of Baird, Mandalas, Brockstead, and Federico. At the Delmarva Design Center, appliances, cabinetry, countertops, tile, and flooring come together in one showroom. We have specialists in each division, like myself and Tile, to ensure that you have the best product to fit your needs. And that your selection fits seamlessly with every element of your remodel. I was able to look at everything that I was looking for from my new kitchen, including the backsplash and the countertop and the sinks, all in one place. Del Marva Design Center. Great design starts with great inspiration. Selbyville, Delaware. Turn on Bionic Spotlight Extreme 360, the motion-activated home defense light that looks just like a security camera. It detects even the slightest motion and automatically triggers six ultra-bright LED high beams. Call or go online and order your Bionic Extreme 360 for just $19.99. Plus, get free shipping on your entire order. To order, call 1-800-316-1548 or go online to buybionic360.com. Call now. Are you struggling to lose weight? Do you want to live a healthier and more empowered life? Whether it's been a lifelong struggle or you're new to weight loss, we can help you get the results you're looking for. At Tidal Health, we offer a comprehensive and customized approach to weight loss that includes surgical and medical options. Our team of dedicated professionals is committed to making sure you have the knowledge and support to reach your goals and get on the path to wellness. To learn how you can reach your goal weight, visit TidalHealth.org slash lose weight today. Lupo Italian Kitchen in downtown Rehoboth Beach has been serving award-winning Italian food since 2008. Located inside the Hotel Rehoboth, 
Lupo serves traditional and coastal Italian cuisine, pairing Mediterranean flavors with fresh seafood and local produce. Lupo has an extensive all-Italian wine list, monthly wine dinners, and a friendly and knowledgeable staff. Popular dishes include chicken parmesan, lobster bucatini, and veal meatballs. Lupo Italian Kitchen on Rehoboth Avenue, serving happy hour daily and open seven days a week. See you soon. Hi, this is Jimmy Hoppe inviting you to join us as we take the cross to the country. Christian country and Southern gospel all to celebrate our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Taking the cross to the country, Sunday mornings at 8 on Coast Country, sponsored by Fitzgerald Salvage and Recycling. It's now 6.54. It's time for some things you need to know before you go. This morning, families and friends of two teenage boys from the Cape Penlopen School District are grieving after a terrible car crash. At the map right there, it's the area near the 16,000 block of Gills Neck Road in Lewis where the crash happened. The deadly crash was late Monday night around 11.26 p.m. Timeline becoming clearer for the attempted on the assassination on former President Donald Trump. New information shows how the gunman may have evaded security. Law enforcement officials say he came to the rally with a rangefinder that's similar to binoculars. It's not a weapon, so security let him through. Investigators say the would-be assassin then exited the area. They're not sure where he went, but they think he got a rifle from his car. Climbing on an air conditioning unit is likely how he got on a roof outside the perimeter. We now know the name of the man killed in a plane that crashed in northeastern Maryland on Tuesday. The lone victim, the pilot, 56-year-old Robert Eugene Merlini from Annapolis. The video you're seeing there was taken by our Coast Copter. Maryland State Police say the plane was used to research extreme heat, but it's not clear yet what caused the plane to crash. Today in Georgetown, there will be a preliminary subdivision review for the approval of a 238-lot area. The development would be called Shortleaf Preserve, and it would feature single-family homes and townhouses. This is on the east side of Parker Road and south of East Trap Road. All right, well, if it's possible that there's life on Venus, they heard some good music recently. Yeah, they did, Paige. NASA <laughs> says it transmitted Missy Elliott's song, The Rain, Super Duper Fly, to Venus via radio antennas. Yeah, it took nearly how many minutes there? I can't 14. see. 14. Thank you. 14 minutes for the song to travel about 158 million miles to the planet of love. Venus? Oh, is the planet of love? Yeah. All right, Elliot posted to social media about the feat saying, quote, the sky is not the limit, it's just the beginning. And the artist plays with space iconography in her work often, something NASA nodded to in a statement about the transmission. Not a bad song. Super duper fly? Sure. Why not? Go to Venus. All right, 6.56 now. A quick look at your forecast before you head out the door. Yeah, we got one final check with Chris on what is, it's first alert weather day, Chris. Yes, yes it is. Do In fact, we're going to see heat in the seas around 110 and then severe storms later. Live look from our tidal health cam. Well, we're quickly rising into the upper 80s. You can get that forecast anytime by calling 443-880-9100. At Paul Davis, 10 day, there you see that first alert. 110 heat indices could see storms after 9, 10 o'clock tonight. Some of those storms could pack some damaging winds to 70 miles an hour. Well, all right, Chris, thank you so much. Well, thank you all, too, for joining us on Coast TV News Today. And the Today Show, it's coming up next at 7 a.m. Yeah. Hey, what song would you pick to go to Venus? Oh, man, you caught me off guard with that. I put you on the spot. You, you thunderstruck ACDC. It's Good just one. what stuck in my... I would do Justin Bieber, baby. All right, don't forget, we have Coast TV News Midday uh, coming up at 11, so stick with us. I know. So good. And for even more news and coverage you can count on, download our Coast TV news and weather apps. Have a great Wednesday morning, everybody.